don't forget to add your doors in so it's just gluing the two panels together and then fitting them in that end and that end and it makes sure that it's level with the card because we're going to put a framework around the outside of that uh, I've glued that one in I haven't glued that one in simply because it fits in there really nicely and it's going to stay there so I could have an option of pulling it out if I wanted to but I think I'll leave it as it is but that one's glued in and that's going to dry and it just needs its framework around the outside so that's the depot end door template and what I've done is I have trimmed the top part and then the side runners uh, where the score line is it's quite easy to fold in and you end up with one looking like that nicely folded so then what you do is you run some glue along that end along that end and at the top and then you fit it inside there and obviously there is one that I've fitted at the moment so we'll go and do the other two and there you have your three depot entrance surrounds all fitted and they certainly finish that off really nicely so we've done those we've done the four edge cap hiddens we've just got to do the roof edges and the side edges and we are complete so I folded the center roof strip you can run your fingers along quite easily on that one and just curve it I haven't glued it on because obviously I haven't glued this side of the panel on as I haven't put the strips on but it will give you an idea of what it would look like so that side is all complete with the strips this side is a release roof so you can look at your locos inside so that concludes the build of the diesel depot I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos uh, and hope they've helped you build your depot. Uh, if you've made it and you'd like to send some photos in, please send them into on the website inquiries at railwaylaserlines.co.uk and hopefully we'll have a gallery of three road diesel depots on our website showing you your hard work. Thanks very much for watching and any questions please don't hesitate to get in contact. Uh, we're here to help. We've got a product support page on our website. Uh, can be live chat on some evenings if it's worth checking that. But again, thank you very much for those that have purchased the shed. Um, to those who haven't yet and have watched the videos and have made a decision whether you want to buy it or not, please pop onto the website and purchase it. Uh, and we'll build you a kit and we'll have it out in the post to you. Thanks very much for watching and take care. Bye bye.